Hello, this is Devin from WordPress Theming, and I just finished this site for Anna Magruder. She's a local artist and illustrator in Portland, Oregon. And I just wanted to make this video to show you my process for theme development, and a little what I do. So Anna had already um, created mocks for the website, and she sent those over to me. And these were simply uh, layered Photoshop files and each of the elements that I needed was going to be on a different layer. So the logo um, and the banner image are the main things on this that I needed. And she had all her pages coded out so the view art page looks like this and it had um, her artwork and she was familiar with a plugin for WordPress called the Slicker Gallery which pulls in your Flickr um, photos, so she modeled this um, page after that, um, integrating that plugin, um, an events page, which was going to be a listing of her upcoming art showings and art gallery openings, um, and then a simple contact page with a graphic on the right side. So she sent those to me, and then I began work on the coding, and I used thematic for as a theme framework because um, everything's all set to go. Ian Stewart's coded out a great theme um, that already has everything you would need for, for instance, the search page, the um, archives page, home page. Um, there's widget areas. There's dynamic body classes. It's a really great theme framework. And then all I had to do was to make a child theme for that. And I've done a lot of um, themes now based on thematic, and I kind of have a child theme that I've developed um, that has a lot of stuff already built for me. Um, and if you go to my website, you'll see um, this post posting called Thematic Theme Options Panel. And it's basically a child theme of thematic you can download that already has a theme options panel built in it. And um, that allows me to give much more options to the client. Um, if you look at the websites I make, I like to have everything pretty much dynamic and editable by the client so that they don't need to call me when they, for instance, want to swap out their logo or change the banner or change an item on their home page or update the footer or add Google Analytics. I think everything um, that the client can be able to control without um, without messing up the site they should be able to have control over. So the process I went through is I um, took my child theme that I had already developed and then I started changing the styles. So I changed the background color to brown, um, changed the fonts, changed the paddings um, to match what she had in her mocks. And this went really quickly because um, you'll notice that the mock that Anna Magruder made is actually very similar to what's already done in my child theme. We already have a logo here, we have a menu bar here, the content, the sidebar. So mainly it was just changing the fonts and the paddings um, and I got something to look like this fairly quickly. The only major thing I had to update was to add a banner in there and I did that through the functions file I just added it um, as a thematic filter and then I made it as a theme option so if you look at um, theme options in Anna Magruder's site um, here's the option for the logo and here's the option for the banner on the home page and then the interior pages of course have this smaller banner which is also editable here and here's the Google Analytics. So if you look at the home page, that's all editable. This menu is simply a listing of her pages. So if she wanted to add another page, for instance, it would automatically get added in there. And then um, the about, the Portland Artist Card Deck, and the contact info are all also dynamic. Um, this area is being pulled in, it's the most recent post that she's done, and it's displaying the title and the excerpt here. The other things on here 
is the about page. Um, and yeah, about page, I actually use a plugin to give the functionality on the home page. Um, there's an there's a plugin called uh, Page Excerpts, and pages don't number nor <laughs> ordinarily come with uh, excerpts like uh, posts do. So I used the Page Excerpts plugin, and that allowed us to have one thing show up here on the actual page, and then a different the excerpt actually show up here um, on the home page, and the same was with the contact form. Some of the other interesting things about the website is in the sidebar here. This is done um, with widgets. It's an editable sidebar. And that's done through if you click on the widgets here. And it decides to load. Which it may not. I'm just going to pause the video and, okay, well, here we go. Um, so here's the search bar, the pages, the archives, and the categories. And you can move these around, or you could put different items in there to show up on the sidebar. So she has complete control over that as well. Um, the other page that's interesting is the contact page. And you'll notice that the contact page doesn't have a sidebar like the other one. It has this image here. And this is actually using a new feature in WordPress 2.9, the page thumbnail. And that's down here. And so she can remove or add a different thumbnail there. And it will. she can have whatever size image, and it will automatically resize and if an image is uploaded, it will replace whatever is in the sidebar with that image. The other thing on this page is a contact form, um, and that's using C forms. And I've already developed styles for C forms too that I use on most every one, every site I do. Um, and you can look on my website for that, for that skin for C forms. And it just needed a slight update to have the different color backgrounds in the style sheet for that. Another um, page we have on here is the View Art page, and this is pulling in her Flickr gallery. So her art is both on Flickr and on the website, um, and the Flickr plugin pulls in the galleries that she selected, uh, the albums she selected, and will um, display all the images in there. And this plugin looks like this. Um, it's really easy to set up. You just put in your uh, Flickr number and give the the plugin permission to um, access all the files. And down here, she can select which of the albums she wants to show and which ones she wants to keep private. So that's a quick overview of how the website works and what it does. If anyone has any questions about theme development or how you would how certain features on the site are done, feel free to um, send me an email and um, hope, uh, hope this was informative about uh, my process for making a theme. Thank you.